a, uh, a bloody hunt into whatever you, you want to throw at the uh, target of the Francos. And there's a lot of backdoor plays coming into it too, so Few needs to find the best positioning available once he copies that real-world manipulation. But here we go. Will a Bren Esports equalize in this series or will Smart Omega take it all the way? Well, welcome to game number two. Yeah, and uh, so as we take a look at the map here, right? Everyone's going to be pretty standard, I feel like. Again, you're really relying on Kyle TZ to just have an easy time in the jungle, not be disrupted at all, which is usually what you see teams do when there's a fanny across the board, right? Sometimes get in the face of the fanny, stall them out, right? But they're not gonna worry about it. Yeah, and actually I feel like Brenny Esports is gonna go a little bit more aggressive just so they can reach that snowball factor that yeah. Midnight has been mentioning a while ago. They need to be able to do that and just get the attention and divert the attention away from Super Margo, just like what they did in game number one, which they've executed into perfection, but few though. Well, it's already, uh, again, you know, when, okay, dodging that hook too, when you have Chaknu playing the Kufra here, you always have to be weary of those iconic sets, right, coming out. Because even if they're down, he's done it many times. I mean, here he comes across right the on map, Q. right? Right on Q, forcing the flicker out from Ogwin. So already early on, this is the impact of the Mamba's Kufra. Yeah, if you're playing against Chaknu's Kufra, you're not playing against Kufra, you're playing against Chaknu. <laughs> yeah. This is the level of comfort of the guy on the hero. And I, I love that you talk about Chatmu's performance and the little little details, you know, Ryzen, he was farming with the Kufra. Mm -hmm. That allowed Omega to have the safety net, the precautionary measures. Even if Kyle TZ did not invade, Omega had the right answers. Because yeah. guess what? If the if the if the uh, the, the fan invaded, he's gonna be met up against the uh, Kufra. Oh well, deep under the turret he goes. Kyle TZ gonna get caught though. Real world manipulation Ooh, comes out, perfect. and that's gonna be the first blood going in the hands of Ryzen for Smart Omega. Perfect positioning and play placement of the bouncing balls coming out from Chakra's Kufra. I mean, Kufra's Jack. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but, but I mean, they just squeezed him in, right? There was nowhere for the guy to be able to go even with that uh, Sasagi or ropes, if I should say, <laughs> because there were just a lot of places and mobility for the Fanny to go to, but unfortunately, Omega just maximized on the kills or the skills that they've had in taking control of the first blood. That's going to be a little bit more extra in terms of gold for a smart Omega. Meanwhile, we're still not seeing a lot of fights from the side lanes. Mid lanes, though, very aggressive. Yeah, I think, again, you know, if you are Bren, you really want to be careful on Kyle TZ here. You don't want to get uh, knocked out or knocked down Ooh. really this early on, but already it looks okay. okay he did he did manage to get the purple buff, but Turtle's still going to be worked on here. It was being bounced back and forth between Renzio and Pandora. Meanwhile, waiting for both teams' junglers to show up. Ryzen does come on first. Jack New setting up in the bush. That, that's going to be secured by Smart Omega. Here we go. The Beyblade comes out. Kyle TZ able to get a kill himself. So they trade it out for the objective. A yeah, little, little overstep coming out from Renzio, but I love the play that Chapman made. He forced out the retribution. That secured the eternal objective for Smart Omega. But little, again, little, little overstep coming out from Renzio, who's trying to zone away Brandy Sports when it, was, it wasn't needed, because again, Ryzen already had the retribution at that point. Yeah, right. There's Chak who comes in. Oh man, the reaction time. So the Flicker also committed from the Mambo, but not able to convert that into anything here. With you, he has the copy of the <laughs> Kufra. It's a, you know, it's a nice ultimate to be, to have. Yeah. Uh, I've played this a lot of times, it feels really good, because you have the uh, pseudo Flicker on your uh, Valentina. Well. Mm. There you go, they return here, but here comes Kyle TZ. Can't get the kill, has to get out few though. Trying to get in position, not able to commit with that either. Doesn't use the ultimate at all. So nice disengage there, forced from Smart Omega, just with a single ultimate. The real world manipulation, you're seeing the value of it here. I would yeah. say Bren Esports kind of pulled a punch there. Would have been awesome if they uh, fought. Again, Few had a flicker and he had yeah. a, a copy of Chakna's ultimate. So I, I think it was a... Uh, over over safe that they uh, disengage away from Smart Omega. They could have gone for the punish, but now Smart Omega, again, this is becoming a problem for Brain Esports. This Claude is just uh, able to farm away. Even though Super Marco has more levels and probably gold over the Claude, it's still a Claude. Yeah. 
Yeah, and in the same way, it was Super Marco getting the first item, which is going to be the Wind Talker, in before three minutes of the fight. So you're already seeing how Super Marco handles that lane with the assistance of Ogwen in the same way. So at some point, Ren Esports still has the upper hand, leading almost 700 in terms of gold, although Chakra is going to be in a little bit of a ruckus right over here because he's being chosen. Oh, yeah, he just got simply caught out, right? Nothing you can do there goes down the bloody hunt was committed to so you know chaka was just trying to get some information but yeah. unfortunately he knew that he overstepped and gets taken out here now ryzen looking to help up on the top side gonna pop quite a bit of damage on oh, Owen. one punch what? away didn't even need it use that retribution so he gets the kill actually oh, the burning the floor is oh, over no what? the miss his body goes down ryzen actually the one to fall that was fun to watch yeah <laughs> yeah it, it, it was almost like it almost happened, uh, but like uh, nah, uh, nah, uh, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Go, like it, it was like uh, back to regular programming, yeah. right? And Smart Omega, they uh, again, they they haven't capitalized on the fact that Brandy Sports let loose in the mid game with Chaknu. Yeah, Chaknu gonna get pulled here. Should be able to survive. Oh, Few nowhere to go here. Trapped in the manipulation of his world. Okay, Super Marco has Wind Talker and Scarlet Phantom. Yeah, that's nice. It syncs up really, really well, especially with the attack speed that you're gonna get from the passive of the Scarlet Phantom. Whenever the Wind Talker procs a critical, critical hit, it increases your attack speed. So more DPS Ooh. coming out from this carry. Wow, Kyle Teasy actually able to just grab that turtle there. I thought he was actually gonna go down. Ooh. Able to secure that and then hook from downtown hook. as Ryzen falls here. A crucial hook coming out from Ogwin. So Brandy Sports. Um, not much pressure in the early to mid game, but now they're amping up their momentum. And Omega, they haven't done anything yet. It's because of the fact that Chaknu was punished with the overstep that he made on the top lane. That's, that is what stopped Omega from committing the plays that they want to make. And of course, Ren Esports, they have this good idea that they just need uh, after taking fights, they just need to shut down the squad, and immediately Brandy Sports went towards the top lane. Chaknu, again, it's seen by Ogren. Yeah, I don't know if he can escape this one. Iron Hook's gonna land here. Chaknu trying to buy time. Here comes Kaoru with the Blazing Duet. Can't get a kill, though, as a few is there. Again, I, I feel like one thing that Bren has to be weary of. Hold on, in the pit, the purple buff. Alti's gonna get out of there just in time. So this is the thing, right? If you're Bren, you want to find all these fights as long as you're not forced to fight in the real world manipulation. That's the biggest yeah. advantage right now for Smart Omega. Kill VJ has been doing a great job at utilizing that ultimate. So if Bren can find these picks over anywhere around the map yeah. other than where Kill VJ is, they profit off of that. Yeah, and uh, honestly, it's just Ogwen, you know, giving them the zipline experience so far. <laughs> ha has managed to take control with those momentum type of hooks that has managed to put Ren at the top spot right over here in this matchup. But I have to say, you're absolutely right. They got what they wanted here. They diverted Kel VJ's attention. You know, you, you see Kel VJ, right? Looking for other ways for him to be able to fight. But so far, Super Marco taking the breath of the damage. And oh, here man. comes three members of Bren Esports, but not to mention two others, Kelra and Shaknu, just laying behind. It's pretty sure they saw, Mamba. yeah. Uh, they saw the Mamba. They saw him peek out there for a second. Yeah. He um, was, was setting up for a yeah. uh, bomb play, I would say, for the, the, the Mamba Omega. set. Yeah, but this is really hard for Smart Omega at the moment, even though it's just 2.7k gold and uh, they still have a Claude. So the late game possibility is uh, the late game factor is still a possibility for Omega, but right now it's really hard for them. They don't have the dominance. I you got it. Oh, big hook again, paired with the flicker with the bloody hunt, and that's an immediate kill here on Ryzen. So Ryzen is not available for this first allure take. It should just go in the hands of Bren easily. Ogwen checking the bushes here, Pandora as well. Chak new gonna charge up here, goes in looking for an angle. Gonna get backed off. Renzio trying to join it too, but the Lord goes in the hands for Kyle TZ. They're happy with that one. I'm telling you, man, it's the Ogwen experience. Yeah. You know, Chaknu got what he wanted in the first game, but this time around, the Ogwen said, if I, if you can do it, I can do it too. <laughs> and at some point, he just wants to land it, and he just didn't manage to land the hook on just one player. It was the major factor upon getting that major objective take, but so far, Lord Dick here. Wow, okay. That was a nice there dodge. Go again. Hook's gonna land. Kelra, the so perfect experience. target. As Kelra falls, and now an assault on the mid lane. Kyle Teasy gonna poke a little bit more here. Turret's gonna get finally taken down. Tier one falls. 
Smart Omega on the defense. They have to handle the Lord marching up the top side as well. I don't know. It's, it's like I'm watching Kuroko the basket and Man. Ogre is like Kise. Uh, Kise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been copying uh, you know, the moves of Chaplu for from game number one. The hook onto that claw. Secured the victory here for Brand Esports. And again, all the moves that he has been all making right, really makes sense. The pressure is right, so You gotta go. Oh, you gotta go. Another one, Owen. The foresight as he grabs the hook here. Now rising on the run, the rest of the team. Super Marco, oh. Kyle Teasy coming down. You can't escape it. Killing spree for Kyle Teasy. What is happening here, right? It's just Oakwin is making the major plays possible for them to create space. Again, it's the individual plays that are ca uh, that are on the side of Brand Esports. They're capable of executing it. Meanwhile, Omega, they haven't had the chance to have a clean team fight. KLBJ, he is only la he has only able to uh, he has been only able to land one successful real world manipulation in the mid lane. After that, Omega wasn't allowed to have a decent fight anymore. It's because of the presence of Ogwen, who has been shutting down these heroes on the side of Smart Omega. Chaplu and Ryzen has, haven't had a good game in this second game of the series. Man, Br Bren is like, it ain't gonna be a problem if we're not gonna make it a problem. Kel BJ just unable to use his real world manipulation. They're just, you know, fighting with the breaks of the game. They're just trying to manage and hold on to the fact that they can get the kills through the pickoffs and not force a team fight. Because we yeah. know that Smart Omega has that late game advantage. And taking a look at the items right now, you already have four or five major items for Super Marco right over yeah, here. There's such a huge disparity between the uh, gold of Super Marco and um, and Kelra. 9k gold for the carry. Meanwhile, you, have only, you only have 7.8 for the Claude. And what uh, what makes the g uh, game for Omega really, really hurt is the, the absence of the Dominance Ice. Again, you have nothing against the carry. And I feel like that's a big factor. That's why Omega hasn't had a chance to fight decently against the carry. Because you already are worried about a lot of factors for, for uh, Smart Omega. There's yeah. already the Fanny, there's already the Valentina, and there's also uh, the, the prank, prank factor from Brand Esports. But no, of them you can itemize against yeah. but against carry and esmeralda you can and that's why i feel like omega they were not able to fight in the early game it's because of the lack of the dominance eyes on their side well here they go another hook's gonna land renzio has plenty of health bars but they actually forced the reset on the lord for now so brand esports still respecting smart omega here despite the 7.5k gold lead yeah and honestly they just want to do what they did from a while ago try to divert the attention onto the other lanes that doesn't really concern the Lord. So now they have a total control. Renzio, Kelra, Chaknu, and KelBJ, what are they gonna do here? Ogwin going in, isn't gonna use that ultimate just yet. And that's gonna be the Lord secured here for Bren Esports as they're ready to get, actually get ready to march into the base of Smart Omega. So all turrets still up for Smart Omega in the base. Can they defend this one? That is going to be the question for them over here. But I just want to say, though, Super Marco looking juicy right over here with a 4-0-1. At least, you know, almost more than 50% of the kill participation yeah. already went to his side. And it is a courtesy of Ogwen's hooks, man. Seven assists out of eight, just out of this world. Totally, you know, mental hooks coming from the guy. He knows where the rest of the members of the Barangay is going to position themselves. And in the same way, it's just Bren Esports with their mechanical play. Just trying to, you know, pave a way or pave a name for themselves. Again, big props to just Super Marco on this carry because originally thought he was going to struggle with the range and everything else. But like you mentioned, Sona, the setups coming up from Ogwen with just the hooks alone enabled Super Marco to have a very good game up to this point i mean he's stacked at this point and now already base gonna be cracked open here for smart omega they lose the top turret focus on the mid here comes renzio though kyle teasy looking for the backside entry but kelra goes Ooh. in with a blazing duet there's kyle teasy to follow up the backside renzio Chapno. finding a setup here but no follow-up to follow as he falls and now it's gonna be the one for two trade again the lack of dominance eyes is hurting this game for smart omega the amount of sustain that pandora has been able to do in this game is absurd they Oh my man, Bren might be looking at any. They don't have many minions here, so they've got to be careful as the lanes have been cleared, but base is going to be fully exposed for Smart Omega. Ogwen now back on line here. There's the real world manipulation coming down from Few. 
And it's trying to push them back here. Kyle Teasy now going to work with the crystal. In. Gets taken down. Not up, not up. Can they end it? And they do. Brandy Sports takes it to game three. I love this. Perfect caster. <laughs> love the game, man. We've been wrong for game one. Now we're wrong for game two as well. Oh, man. This is just Brandy Sports, man. Proving everyone.